Look at that. Got all this dust on my lens. There. That's nice. I am up here at the top of Missing Link in Laguna Canyon, Crystal Cove. I'm always confused by what it's called. El Moro, Moro, Moro. I'm in Laguna is what I'm trying to say, but I'm at the top of Missing Link and today is gonna be short and sweet. Missing Link is a solid blue trail and it's not a trail that people go, oh, let's just go hit Missing Link as if that's the featured trail. It's actually more of like a pass-through trail. It runs parallel to Bomber. And so if you don't just wanna take the fire road Bomber and you're out on this side of Laguna, you can actually take Missing Link and link it up to Fence Line before dropping into something like Lizard. And it's just a lot of fun. So this video is for those of you who are beginners, intermediate, who wanna step up your game a bit and want to take on a blue trail that will build your confidence and that you'll have a lot of fun on. If you're an advanced rider, you like to shred the gnar, you're riding blacks and double blacks, Missing Link is still a ton of fun. Missing Link gets blown out a lot. And my friend Electric Nick actually broke his clavicle on this trail, but don't let that scare you if you haven't hit it. It's just to say, be aware that the trail can be extremely dusty most of the time, especially in the summer. And at the beginning of Missing Link are some rock rolls that aren't too gnarly, and that give you some fun choices as you take this parallel to Bomber. We're gonna break down Missing Link. Let's hit it. This is how much I love Nor. Do you see? He's kind of like Ash from Army of Darkness right now <laughs> with this look. You know this is going in the video, right? That's fine. So this is the top of Missing Link as we drop in. There's a squirrel catcher right at the beginning where you get to choose either a rock line on your right or a dirt line on your left. There's no surprises here. Just take your pick, have a good time with it. I'm gonna turn around and look right back up the trail right now. And Nor and Robert are gonna help me out. Nor's gonna come down and he's gonna take that rock line. And Robert's gonna come down and he's gonna take that dirt line. Both are super fun and it's a great way to give you a taste of what's to come on this trail. Now after that, it's just some more single track. It can be a little bumpy, some braking bumps, dusty, but still super fun. And it will guide you towards the next section that we're gonna break down, which is right here. There's three lines here. I'm taking the far right line. And as we look back up, you can see the line that I just took on the left, but there's also a rock line kind of close to the bush on the right, and then a dirt line. So again, this is the line I first took. It's the far right one, it just kind of hooks left and then snakes right. And if you go back down, you can just take this rock line that's kind of to the left of the bush, and you could take that dirt line on the far left. I'm going to flip around, and with the help of Nor and Robert, they're going to come down here kind of chasing each other and have some fun. Both of them taking a different line. And we're going to go right back up, and you're going to see them both now taking both of the left lines. Nor popping off the rocks there, and Robert chasing behind him. More single track after this. If you look closely, you can see how dusty it does get. And it's gonna bring us to a really mild rock roll section right here that I just went over. Again, we'll flip around and you can see Nor and Robert decide that they're both gonna take that rock line. And uh, they're not gonna take the dirt line that would be on their left right now. You see, they're just having some fun going down that. It's a good time. And the adventure continues down more single track, but it's just a fun trail to flow through. Now it is worth noting that there is some climbing on Missing Link, but this is like moderate climbs, like little short bursts where you pop up around the corner, you do some pedaling, and before you know it, you have more downhill. But throughout these little features at the beginning and some of the fun little sidewinders, you're gonna do a little bit of climbing. So it's just something you can expect on this trail. And the same thing is true of Fence Line if you're linking these two trails together. Now we're gonna be coming up on one of the last real features on Missing Link, and it's a wooden plank. It comes up on you kind of quick around a hard right turn, and you used to only be able to go right, which is the direction I'm going, but there's also a left-hand line now. Turning around and walking back down so you can see this a little slower, you see the right-hand line, the left-hand line, and this plank right in the middle of the trail. Be aware of it as I flip around here, you can kind of see there's just a little bitty rock roll going on there. Nora's going to take that line and Robert's going to come in on the newer line that's been created. 
Nor decided he's gonna try and ride the plank. Courage of a lion. Oh man. Okay, so now this has, <laughs> now this has become, let's put a bacon bit in it. But can we get off of this part because yeah. someone's gonna come in this yeah. way. You know what I realized after you did it? I think you popped it on, on, the, yeah. Um, yeah, on the rebar. This is why we carry bacon strips in the hope that when Noor's doing something really crazy and courageous like that and pops a tire that we can still get out of Laguna. So we're gonna see if the bacon strip works. It's like being out with uh, the urban outdoorsman. You know what I'm talking about, Danny. If you've never done this before, you get yourself a little fork tool, put the bacon strip, feed it through the fork tool. This is literally gonna go right into the hole and that bacon strip is gonna bend up and you're gonna twist it. And then when you pull this out, that bacon strip should stay in the hole. So pretty great thing to have with you on the trail, really light and compact. So that's where we have the hole. I'm gonna see if this is enough to do something with it. Oh, hey, there it is. So that's what you want. You want to get that bacon strip down in there. You're going to have parts of it sticking out like that. And then you're going to gently just pull this out because you've twisted that bacon strip in. You're going to pull the fork out and you're going to keep the bacon strip in there like that. That's how Noah's going to ride. Let's see if this works. I have been meaning for months to replace another CO2 cartridge. I only have this one, so got to make it count. Well, I just am glad that it's Adam doing this work and it's not me. Is it coming out? All right, so you can see here, one bacon strip isn't gonna do it. I might be able to show one more bacon strip in here. I think I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try two bacon strips in here, Nor. I'll be honest with you, I think you might just have to get a new toy. I'm gonna put one more big ass bacon strip in here. I feel pretty good about this right now. Two, three bacon strips, actually two and a half. It's like two of these thickies. I think that will do it. Look at that. This is like magic, people. Trail magic happening right now. Oh, I'm gonna put more air in it. Look at this, I'm so stoked. This is what stoke feels like when you're not even hitting a feature. MacGyver Dad, are you watching? I know you're impressed with this. I think there's enough for me to start riding at least. Yeah. Yeah. We got Noor with air in his tire, enough to ride out of here. Let's finish, let's finish this trail breakdown and missing link. If you ever catch stuff like this, and you know it's in a main line, it can jack people up, uh, shoo it off to the side. You definitely don't want people hitting this stuff and rolling their front. So we're back on track now, and the truth is the rest of Missing Link looks a lot like what you're seeing on the screen. It's just single track flow. There's really no surprises to it at all. At the end of this video, you're going to hear me say that that was the end of Missing Link, but the truth is it goes on a little longer and it crosses two fire roads. When you cross the second fire road, you can hook up with fence line. And this portion of Missing Link actually ends with a fun little G out across the first fire road. And congrats, you've done Missing Link. Let me know what you think about it. Fuck. I'm gonna keep going, Kevin. You have no air? All right, we're walking it out down Willow. We're walking out after doing Missing Link. We at least still got to complete it, had a lot of fun with Joseph, who actually had to bail early with Robert and with Noor. Where's that sun? Was I too dark there? Was that weird exposure? Am I too bright? Hard getting this right. Check out everything down in the description. There's cool links in there, like who I'm sponsored by, my merchandise store. If this video is helpful to you, don't forget to like it, share it. What would really help me out is subscribe. All that stuff makes my heart smile. Until next time, be safe out on the trails. Peace and love. Anymore. Say what you want, say what you will, I miss the ride.